Hello everyone. So let's solve this together. It says 5 raised to power a times 5 raised to power a is equal to 60. So if we say solution, remember if we have a raised to power x and a raised to power y, the same thing as a raised to power x plus y. And that also means that when you have a raised to power 1 times a raised to power 2, the same thing as a raised to power 1 plus 2, which is a raised to power 3. So our equation 5 raised to power a times 5 raised to power a equals to 60 will become 5 raised to power a plus a equals to 60. And a plus a is 2a, so 5 raised to the power 2a is equal to 60. And from here, we have a law in indices that says when a is raised to the power s, it's equal to a raised to the power 2. Here we can say s is equal to 2. So when we have the same base. So there is no way we can write 60 in an index form to have the base of 5 so that we can equate their powers. So because of that, we are going to take the log of both sides like so. So log 5 raised to power 2a is equal to log 60. But log x raised to power 2, same thing as 2 log x the power comes to multiply the the log so here we have 2a log 5 is equals to log 60 and again we we'll divide both sides by log 5 it becomes 2a log 5 all over log 5 equal to log 60 over log 5. Here, yeah, log 5 divided by log 5 will be 1 times 2a to be 2a equals to log 60 over log 5. But 60 can be written as 30 times 2 or 15 times 4 or 12 times 5. We can decide to replace 60 with any of these, but we'll go by this. Reason being that we have 5 here and we have denominator of 5 already. So our equation will become 2a equals to log 5 times 12 all over log 5 but log a times b is equals to log a plus log b so we apply this here our 2a will be equals to log 5 plus log 12 all over log 5. So 2a equal to log 5 plus log 12 over log 5. Now we can write them as separate fraction as 2a equals to log 5 over log 5 plus log 12 over log 5. And log 5 divided by log 5 will be 1 
uh, 2a will be equals to 1 plus log 12 over log 5. 12 can be written as 3 times 4. So, our uh, 2a equals to 1 plus log 3 times 4 over log 5. So, 2a is equals to 1 plus log 3 plus log 4 over log 5. So 2a is equals to 1 plus log 3 over log 5 plus log 4 over log 5. So divide through by the coefficient of a, which is 2, will be equals to 1 plus log 3 over log 5 plus log 4 over log 5 all over 2. But log A over log B is same thing as log A base B. So we let it affect here. This cancels out. Our a will be equals to 1 plus log 3 base 5 plus log 4 base 5 all over 2. And this is our value for a. And we can verify this to check if a satisfies the equation. So To verify, 5 raised to the power a times 5 raised to the power a equals to 60. 5 raised to the power 2a equals to 60. So our a will be 5 raised to the power 2, 1 plus log. 3 base 5 plus log 4 base 5 all over 2 is it equal to 60. So here 2 can cancel we let with 5 raised to power 1 plus log 3 base 5 plus log 4 base 5 is it equal to 60. But remember, we have a raised to power s plus r is same thing as a raised to power s times a raised to power r. So our equation becomes 5 raised to power 1 times 5 raised to power log. 3 base 5 times 5 raised to power log 4 base 5 is it equal to 60. And also, we have a raised to power log b base a is equal to b. So the b is cancel as the log with the same base, which means. 5 will cancel as log 5 and 5 will cancel log 5 to be left with 3 and 4 and 5 raised to the power 1 which is 5 times 3 times 4 is this equals to 60 so yeah 5 times 3 15 times 4 60 60 is equals to 60 that means the value of A satisfy the original equation. Thank you for staying tuned.